Today, I'm gonna to be making some pineapple pretzel fluff. This recipe was sent to me from Cassidy on Instagram, so thank you very much to Cassidy. Uh, you need one cup of crushed pretzels, so I just used the rolled gold tiny twist and crushed them up and put them in a, a cup right there. You need half a cup of butter melted, which is one stick. You need one cup of sugar divided, so you need half a cup and a half a cup of sugar. You need eight ounce softened cream cheese, and I just kept the box out there to show you. We bought the Philadelphia brand. You need one 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple, and it needs to be drained. So I have had it uh, draining, and I just bought the Great Value, which is the Walmart brand crushed pineapple. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees. <laughs> and then lastly, you need a 12 ounce container of Cool Whip. Now, the Cool Whip, at least for my Walmart, they had either eight or they had 16. They did not have 12. So instead of buying two of these or one big one, I just bought one. So I'm going to go with the eight ounce. We're going to see if that's enough. Hopefully it is. If it's not, if it's not, then you'll know just to go ahead and, and buy a 16 ounce container. Or maybe they have 12 ounces in your area. They just did not. And even though this is light, I always buy light because you can't tell the difference once you get all the ingredients together. Um, even the regular, I mean, there was no 12 ounce containers. So you need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, as I said. You need to line a nine by 13 inch pan with parchment paper. And so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna stir together the pretzels and the butter and uh, half a cup of sugar. So here's our pretzels and our sugar and then our stick of butter and so you're going to stir this together and then you're going to uh, uh, spread it out on the uh, bottom of your uh, parchment paper and it does not need to cover the whole bottom of the parchment paper. You just need to um, get it in the bottom of the parchment, on the parchment paper the best you can, but without trying to cover the bottom. You're not trying to like make a base or anything. So just make sure that all your pretzels are covered. And then we're gonna pour them into our pan. You can see I'm using I'm using one hand to do all of this, so pretty easy. And I'll put my camera down in a minute and get the rest of that that's in the bowl. But then we're just gonna uh, just spread this out like this. Now you're going to put this in the oven to bake for seven minutes, and then you're going to let it cool. So now while you have your pretzels in the oven for seven minutes. You're going to beat together your cream cheese and your sugar until it is smooth. Uh, that's creamy. So now you want to fold in your pineapple. You see all that juice? Fold in your pineapple and your whipped cream. And we're gonna use the entire container of whipped cream. Like I said, we were supposed to have more, but um, I'm thinking that it'll be okay. So if you can get by with buying a smaller one, then I think that's good. Because I'd rather have a little less and then, then have um, some left and not need it, you know? So I'll even get the little bit off the top. Okay, now just fold this in. And once you get it all folded in, uh, this is gonna go in the refrigerator for one hour. Now, we still have our pretzels in the oven. Once they come out, we're going to let them cool. And once, um, I'm just gonna set them to the side, let them cool. And once an hour is up, uh, I'll pull this out of the refrigerator and we'll be back. I'll just show you what the pretzels look like really quick after seven minutes. They're still really liquidy, all that sugar, and so it'll harden up while we let it cool off completely. So my mix has been in the refrigerator for an hour. 
My crumble is um, crumbly. Uh, crumbly. It is uh, cooled off is what I was going to say. So you want to kind of crumble it like this. And you want to sprinkle it in your mix. And you want to leave some to sprinkle on top. So um, I'm going to put some in here. I'm gonna leave this much for the top. That's probably too much, but that's okay. So I'm gonna stir this in. And this is my mixing bowl, as you can see. I just took it straight from my KitchenAid um, and put it in the refrigerator. So I'm actually going to move this over to a bowl that I'm going to store it in. Um, and then we're gonna put the, uh, the remaining pretzel on top. I'm gonna actually do is get Kevin and I a serving like this and then take some of my crumble here and sprinkle it on top like this like the hunks of sugar oh yes big hunks of sugar how can this be bad <laughs> and uh, we will give this a try okay I'm very excited to try this just the the knowledge that knowing that there's Cool Whip and pineapple. I mean, and then the pretzel and the sugar is just a bonus. Yeah, I like just the pineapple and the whipped cream. Mm -hmm. And then the pretzel adds a crunchy, salty, sweet kind of layer. That is crazy, crazy delicious. It is very, very good. Crazy, over the top delicious. I'm guessing since you did, since the pretzels are coated in like sugar, that they probably won't get as soggy. I don't know. They have butter in there too. Yeah. A whole stick. But. It's very, very good. That's to be addictive. I can't tell you how much I love that. I make a um, <laughs> pistachio salad. And the recipes on my channel, it's a very, very easy to make too. I like this more. I do too. I like it uses uh, cottage cheese and it's really, really good. It's mm -hmm. a very sweet dessert. My family would be crazy about yeah. this. They would, I'm going to have to make this at Thanksgiving. At Thanksgiving. I can't yeah. imagine anybody not liking this. Yeah, it, I, I can't. Unless either. she just absolutely hated uh, pineapple. Um, and I think uh, uh, John, my sister's husband, I think he would love this because he loves that pineapple upside down cake. Mm -hmm. He would love That's this. Yeah, I'm going to have to make this uh, Cassidy this year for Thanksgiving uh, because this is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So I hope that if you all haven't tried it, you will try it. it. It's so, so easy to make. Just make sure your cream cheese is at room temperature. And if it's not, I put mine according to the directions. I put mine in the microwave for 10 seconds. That was all it needed, so I didn't have to leave it laying out or anything. This is the easiest thing ever. And I think if you're doing this for like Thanksgiving or whatever, um, you wouldn't sprinkle it over individual bowls, mm -mm. but you would just put it in a container and then sprinkle it over the top mm -hmm. of the container or mm -hmm. whatever the bowl you're going to serve it in. That way it looks pretty when they're yeah. like scooping it out. That's exactly how yeah. we do it. But, I mean, you could potentially leave a little bowl up and they could sprinkle on top of that. Would be a no, bag. I would go ahead and put it over the yeah, top. So I just knew that you and I would yeah. be trying yeah. it. So I was going to give us our own bowl. For, so for the leftovers, we'll probably just dump it in. Uh, yes, what's left on my parchment paper, yeah, I'll put it on top of the, uh, on the bowl. And then I'll, um, and those are clear Pyrex bowls, so I have lids to them. Mm -hmm. And store it in the refrigerator, yeah. and I think it'll be perfect. Oh, yeah. But I... Uh, Absolutely. I love easy desserts like this mm -hmm. and I hope everyone will try it out because it's so it's good. It's very good. Yeah. Oh, and the only thing I did different was the Cool Whip. If you'll remember, the recipe called for 12 ounces. I only had an 8 ounce container because it went from 8 ounces to 16 ounces. Yeah. And I said, well, we'll just get this was one. Was it 8? It, it, my, mine was an 8, eight. A, okay. eight ounce container. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and it was light. 
And it was light co -op. You would never, never know never that it was light co because all you're tasting is the sugar and the pineapple, yeah. the pretzel. So if you could cut any bit out of with the light co -op, Yes, get the light co get an eight ounce thing of it. You don't need, you don't need 12 ounces. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, that's the perfect amount. Mm -hmm. So I hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.